Muay Thai has made me the person that I am today. It's given me a way of life and I love the tradition and it's just given me a lot of confidence and drive. My name's Judy Kitchen, also known as Queen of Muay Thai and I am representing England. I'm really pleased that I'm representing females in the sport. I fought all over the world. The difference fighting on this particular show, it's really opening up their eyes, not only to the world, but especially America and Muay Thai. She's very strong, she's very determined, she's very, very ambitious, Julie. She always has been one of the two beautiful children who are back home, I'm sure, waiting for the results of their mum. Yeah, I mean, she's been a pioneer for women's Muay Thai yeah, around the world, of course. not just for England, but around the world, because, you know, she, she would do everything and more to get the sport for females exposed. And, you know, she took this fight, the biggest fight of her career, and it's here. It's going to be an absolutely well, The Queen of battle. Muay Thai gives respect to the King of Thailand, showing the respect that he deserves the country that gave us this wonderful, wonderful sport. Well, she's been at some huge shows before. She's for all the top names. She's more experienced of the two, there's no doubt about it. But there's always going to be a challenge. There's always going to be a challenger lurking around the corner. The challenge yeah. is she, yeah, uh, Amanda Yeah, of, of course, when you're at the top, someone wants to knock you off it. It's just, that's just part and parcel of life. It's like anything else. But can Julie Kitchen She's, she did lose her last fight, can she regain form? I'm not saying she's got not tough form, to be dead honest with you. She hasn't. Because she's, you know, very, very talented lady, but it's... It, Amanda Kelly really wants this, doesn't she? Yeah, absolutely. But, as we said, she's not called the Queen of Muay Thai. Oh, no. Anything. She she, and she's earned, she's earned her place in history, in Muay Thai history. She's earned her place as legendary. But here she comes, the challenger. Amanda Kelly from the KO Gym in London. Very strong. She's built like Sarah Connor off Terminator, isn't she? She's absolutely chiselled. You know, you look at her definition of her body, it's incredible. She's obviously worked her butt off. And there's get, the genius be, behind her as well. You've got to give credit. This man has been around a very, very long time. Bill Judd, the KO Supremo from London. A genius of Muay Thai, he knows the game, and his fight is, I believe, so, so well-conditioned, it's ridiculous. Yeah, they've all got incredible engines, very sharp, they work at all different angles, they're training orthodox and south, on the gyms do that. You know, they do train them rigorously every week, in and out, and a man is going to be bringing, a man is going to be bringing her A-game tonight, and so Julie, this is going to be the best female fight of all time has all the makings to be a legendary female fight. Yeah, this, this, this could be a classic. In fact, not even just a female fight, it's gonna be a legendary fight in the making. So what's the tactics of Kitchen? What's the tactics of Amanda Kelly and her team? This is very, very interesting. The best female fight in the world, bar none, we could put together. Muay Thai in America bringing you femme fatales. They've been here before, they've been to the big stage before, but this is it, the very, very highest level between two very, very talented ladies, the queen of Muay Thai, Julie Kitchen, This is the challenger, the woman that wants to knock her off her place and earn her right in history, Amanda Kelly. Yeah, I mean, this is a huge fight. I'll just probably say it again and again and again. It's one of those fights in the making. It took a long time to put together, but tonight, Two warriors, two of the best females in the world, are going to go and answer all those questions. We're just trying to get by, man. You must have back your stuff. Can... Who can give the most? Who can take the most? That's who breaks first. Struggling. Everybody's struggling. Nah, he's good. He's good. No, sir. He's good. He's good. Soft as silk, strong as diamonds. Oh, I, 
they going to crumble? Are they going to be tough? No. Well, there's a tell of the tape then. Five foot nine. With one inch advantage for Julie Kitchen. A little bit of a reach advantage for 30 years of age versus 35. And Julie has a slight weight advantage. Actually, it's quite big, that really, I'd say. But nevertheless, the experience is with Kitchen. The ambition, is it still there? Or is Amanda Kelly going to take the crown? Well, both females have fought all different weights. We're literally up from 59 kilos up to 65 What's kilos. What's the difference, What's the difference between these two? What would you say would be the, the tactics for each fighter? Well, for Julie, for sure, we'd be keeping her locked. She's got long legs. She'd be using those push kicks and body kicks to score the points as yep. well. Um, and she's got some lovely elbows, you know, on the, at a distance. But Amanda would be, of course, trying to cut down, get close, very strong, try and bully Julie and will her way from early as well, though, because all of KO Gym fights, they will come from the... As soon as the bell goes, they will come right at you and they'll be throwing everything but the kitchen sink. Excuse the pun. <laughs> yeah, excuse the pun. But watch out for Amanda's clinch work and elbows. Watch out for Julie's teeps, push kicks and body kicks. We've had pats for Julie before and I was, when we was in Thailand. She's very, very strong. Don't let them... F don't let these two girls' looks fool you. These two girls mean business. They hit the hardest men. And she's trained a long time with Nathan, Na her husband Nathan Kitchen in the Touch Gloves gym in the Penzance, beautiful Penzance area of Cornwall. And you, to be honest, they've cut a sway through, doing really, really well. So this is going to be interesting. Very, very good fight. We're looking forward to this one. Ladies and gentlemen, promoter Don McDaniels and Atmosphere Entertainment present the ancient art of fists, elbows, kicks, and knees in honor of the king. This is Muay Thai in America. This event is sanctioned by the California State Athletic Commission when Anthony Olivas, representing Andy Foster, executive officer. The judges for tonight's bout are Doc Nelson Hamilton, Vichai Rex Suptikal, Mark Zacharados. The referee is Desh Nakwik Sirampai. Your timekeepers are John Lechty and Willie Ariola. Your physicians at ringside are Tony Hicks and Leandro Gattis. And ladies and gentlemen, this is the co-main event to see who will be the queen of the ring. This bout is scheduled for five three minute rounds in the lightweight division. First in the blue corner, she is the 14 time world champion. She has been the WBC and WMC champion in five different weight categories. She's 35 years old, standing five foot 10, weighed in at 134.6 pounds. She comes in with a record of 51 wins, eight defeats. Originally from Penzance, Cornwall, England, trained by Paulo Tosha, fighting out of Team Tosha, Sorthanaku, out of Los Angeles. Give it up for the queen of Muay Thai, Julie Kitchen! And opposing her in the red corner, she is the ISKA world champion. She is the WMC MAD world champion. She's 30 years old, standing five foot nine. She weighed in at 131.1 pounds. She comes in with a record of 30 wins, only one defeat, one draw, nine by way of knockout. Originally from Inverness, Scotland, trained by Bill Judd, fighting out of KO Gym in London. Give it up for Amanda Braveheart. Well, well, it's England versus Scotland. Amanda Kelly from Inverness now lives, residing in the capital of good old Blighty, London. I'm not missing London at all because it's raining, apparently. Beautiful California sunshine treating us very, very well here. But, Kieran, this has got me and you talking, the world talking, the whole community, and it'll get people talking at home because it's a clash of the titans, isn't it? You can feel the tension around the arena because you know, everybody here knows about this fight. They've been wanting it. Co-main event is an incredible, incredible fight this is going to be. Five three-minute rounds, Muay Thai to see who oh. is the queen of the ring. See there, look, Manny kind of comes straight at you. Straight into clinch, like you said, Luke Kelly. 
she looks strong stop, already. Stop, stop. Judy Kitchen back, clinching on as well. Julie's first in the clinch, she knows what she's doing, she's got good elbows. There's those push kicks we talked about, very, very long legs. Well, elbows nine, already. Really slight, left, sharp left elbow by Kelly. And she looks at everything to get into the pitch, she'll punch away and she'll kick away. And Julie's just on the back foot. Snow, sly knee going into the side. Well turned in from. She's got good flexibility, Kelly. Let me tell you that. Let's let's. Julie Kitchen knows how to fight. And like you said, work edge. Got some lovely knees as well. Right through the middle. Some elbows already going through from these two. Good knees back from both girls. bamboozled so far from the pressure of Amanda Kelly. She will do this all night. Julie cut over the eye of Kitchen already. But Julie's very smart though. She'll, she'll she work knows her way around. She's yeah. working the skills very well. She's sharp. There's a cut over the there's a cut over the right eye of Kitchen already. Look at the strength. That's just incredible strength from Amanda there. Knees going in, she's just a little bit quicker with the knee at the moment, Kelly. Kitchen knows what she's doing, she's been here before. The strength of these two is incredible, yeah. isn't it? Absolutely mesmerising to watch these two. A little bit of a slip there, yeah. which is tempting. Kelly, forward comes Kitchen with the right hand and a left kick. It's blood over the right high of Kitchen already. In comes Kelly with the elbows and the knees. Seems to be the game plan, as you said, Kieran. Yep. We knew that, we knew that she was trying to bamboozle Julie completely. The strength, you can see she's done a lot of strength and conditioning yep. in the gym. Jim working on strength training. Julie is slightly the bigger of the two. Stop. Mark. Oh, some big knees there from Amanda Kelly. She looks good. too strong, doesn't she, Kelly, now? She's very strong. She does. Julie's still answering some good elbows, though. <laughs> but she looks a little bit shell-shocked, doesn't she, Julie? She looks shocked by the strength of Kelly. Okay. I'm representing America from Muay Thai. Uh, for me, this means uh, a chance to show what America has to offer. It's a very big honor. What's exciting about Muay Thai for me, what's always attracted me to it, is all parts of your body is a weapon, and not just in one range. It's all different ranges, from out far, from in close, from middle distance. I think people want to watch Muay Thai because this, they already do. They just don't know it yet. It's, it's, <laughs> it's exactly what people look for when they're looking for anything in, in, in fighting. It's what they're looking for when they try to watch MMA. And, you know, it's what they're disappointed in, what they don't see. Muay Thai is that all the time. It's the advice of Bill Judd. Okay, everything's working. High pressure's getting to her. Right, keep the pressure on. Close her down. Don't fall onto her. The elbows will come. That range is perfect for you. You know, the high pressure, she can't live with it. Okay? It's difficult, you know, to, to be dead honest with you, it's difficult, difficult, difficult to watch Julie get hit because she's a, she's a good friend of ours, but it's just, this is business. She's walking forward with the elbow and that's the game plan, is it? The clinch and the knee well, I know, of Kelly. I know Amanda Kelly's called Braveheart, but she should, should be called Beast because I'll tell you what, physical presence, although she's slightly smaller of the two, is incredible, but Julie here, She's got to sort of work on her legs now, keeping her distance. It isn't easy. No. Kelly really putting pressure on Julie at the minute. Well, Julie's a warrior. She really is. Yep, she's, she's a very tough girl. Yeah. She's very experienced. Stop. Step back. Stop. You know what about Amanda Kelly? She's not even sweating. What? <laughs> it's incredible. That's worrying, worry, isn't it? What 
marches in with a big kick. N a knee again. Stop. Step back, step back, stop. Now, Judy's trying very hard to find her own rhythm. She kicks very hard, Julie, as well, when she's got the range. It's a one-way traffic at the minute, isn't it? It is. She still comes out kitchen with her own now, firing back. That's better from Julie. It's a it is very bit. nice. Like I said, she's, she knows what she's doing. She knows how to fight this girl. Caught the kick very well. So, another well under the eye of Julie as well. Between two females. As well, both girls. Elbow exchange just above us. Nice elbow back from Kitchen as well to, to Kelly. What a thrilling fight this is. This though, is a it? great fight. This it's is a clinch real... work between two very, very talented and beautiful ladies. Nice kick there from Kitchen, keeping her off but again. Did Kelly you, marching yeah. forwards. Amanda Kelly's strong determination. Strong determination. Just comes forward. That's better from Julie. Nice combination back from Kitchen. Boxing combination from Kitchen. Starting to show this is why she's so strong. She's coming back into this. Last nine seconds of the second round. Good catch, Fryer. There's a big well under the right eye starting to happen. Now, what a thrilling fight, you know. Great I'm fight. Mesmerised by these two athletes, warriors, whatever you want to call them. My introduction, actually, to Muay Thai uh, is through Bruce Lee. He liked the, the legs, and he liked the, the elbow, and he liked the knees. It has the elements of Western boxing, which I like. A lot of uh, Kung Fu systems and karate systems didn't have that. They didn't have a cross and hook and uppercuts. And, and Muay Thai already had that into their, into their system, along with the devastating kick and knee and elbow. Everyone has copied Muay Thai, but never given it credit. The movement of full contact karate and ice, it comes first from Muay Thai. So any mixed martial artist is going to either use Muay Thai or he's going to imitate Muay Thai because he hasn't taken Muay Thai. Amanda's pressed for two rounds non-stop. She doesn't even look tired. Julie's been on a lot on the back foot. She does look a little bit more tired of the two. But last part of that round, she'd start to land some combinations. Some good boxing skills. But it is two rounds to Amanda Kelly. And it's uh, a little bit of an action from the two girls. Amanda Kelly just found some combinations off the knee from Julie there. Backing Julie up, he's timed with the clinch in the knee, but still Julie came up with some so some good techniques of her own. She's still in this. There's a spinning back fist attempt. Done a set. And a lovely Amanda right Kelly hand up. at the end as well. There's a beautiful right hand. And she has got the reach advantage. There she goes, back with her own oh, shots, oh. Kitchen. She won't give up. She's very, very strong, very tough. Second foul. Round three, then, of this mesmerising contest between two very oh. fit and strong athletes. There you go, let's go right at each other from the off. So tough these two, aren't oh, they? Absolutely. The condition of these two, they're taking some big knees and kicks. Don't forget, Julie's got two kids as well. Yeah. A hard body kick from Amanda Kelly. Good exchange in the corner, but. Kelly getting the better of the exchanges with the knees at least. Yeah, she, like I said, she will throw everything. Punch, kick, knees from all angles. Will not stop throwing, will not give up. Stop. Stay back. Oh. Very, very 
very hard to deal with, isn't she, Amanda? Yeah. That's better from Judy. Good nice combination with a nice elbow from Kitchen up the middle. Nice scoring with the knees and punches, Kitchen off the ropes. Again, Kelly comes in with the knees. Some big elbows from the Amanda Kelly there. So aggressive, Kelly, isn't she? Very aggressive. You know, and a lady outside the ring, but inside her, a killer. Yeah. Coming up to the last minutes of this third round, where Kitchen's still fighting strong back. Yeah, Julie's doing well with the hands, but she's getting caught with too many knees. He's getting caught with these knees now, Kieran. The start is a bad effect. Yeah. And when you get caught in the knees as well, the midriff takes all the air out of you as well, and it exhausts you. It's taking a bit of a shellacking now, isn't she? Yeah, too many knees and elbows are landing cleanly too. Reddening on the side of the Queen of Muay Thai's body as Kelly comes in with a hard left knee. Hands are starting to come down now. Kitchen looks at in a bit of trouble. She'll still come firing back. She's made of strong stuff. Look at this. This shows the heart what of Jenny Kitchen. Heart. She's got incredible heart. Still fighting back, well, she's taking some shots, but... Still coming forward, still showing great heart. Piling the pressure on Kelly ah. all, the, all the way through. A big gasp of air there from after the round three, there's two more rounds. She throws her arms aloft, Alanda Kelly, in the air. I just want all my students teach them about our culture. Moi it means box. Thai it means the country. Moi Thai it comes from the military. They use the weapon. That's why the way they stand different. Later, they put the weapon down and then start to lap with the hand. In Thailand, when they train Muay Thai, I think it has to do with the hard work, how hard they work every day, seven days a week. Deeper against the ropes. Right, don't give a space. But this is going into the replay. The combination from Amanda Kelly here. One, two. Yep. Landed with the jab across the land. And then, of course, always from Amanda Kelly, a follow up. And these two girls go right at it. Look at these. I mean, lovely, they, they, I mean look at this. Julie. This is, you know, look at the combination. Oh, look at that elbow. Lovely, so elbow. sweetly thrown by Julie. Another elbow by Kelly, an uppercut attempt, but a kickback, spin tip for tap. The pressure of Kelly's been absolutely horrible, hasn't it? She yeah. just doesn't know the meaning of the word go backwards. No, she doesn't know the meaning of go back with North Stop as well. This has really been a thrilling fight, hasn't it? Yeah. What? Elbow Sneak by elbow Julia. by Lovely Kitchen, elbow. very nice. Good elbow up the middle from Kelly. She marches forward. Good elbow exchange still. Great knees. Yeah. Stop. Step back, step back. Yeah, I mean, Amanda Kelly just keeps pressing and she's listening to uh, trainer Bill Judd. You know, he told him, I told her in the corner, put her in the corner, put her against the ropes. It's exactly what she's doing. It's very hard when you've got a glove across your face and you get a knee. You 
can't see it and you just feel it and it hurts. She looks fed up, Julie, doesn't she? She looks a bit dis... dis she looks a bit disorganised now. Starting to get really tired in there. Good spinning back this from her and actually comes Andy with clean. that. But she took that well, Kelly. She took it square on the chin. Julie's using experience and skills. It was a lovely spinning back fist, and then he flashed on the chin, but Amanda Kelly just shrugged it off. Stop! 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 Spin back! What? Some good kick exchanges by these two ladies. Part of these two is incredible, yep. isn't it? The fitness certainly are people to look up to, especially the females. Must be tired because they fought a frenetic <laughs> pace, haven't they? Yeah, full on speed as well, and not just it, fitness, it's you know, strength as well. It's just absolute. Well, the snap has gone out of techniques of these two. You can't blame them, you know, it's hot here. This thing just push back, push her back, push her back. Nice Good. combination yeah, of punches combination. from Kitchen. Still. Kelly comes forward, but she's coming out of the shell now. She has to. Look at this incredible heart by Julie. Heart. Great performance by these two for girls. We said it was a good one, and it's definitely been that. Yeah, I mean, final seconds of this round four. Julie there just came out, grit her teeth, and fired some big shots. Here's the determination, the experience that she can do. Fighting hard, give her credit. What yeah, a great absolutely. performance! Good punch combinations there. Where did she get it from? Where she has a very, very deep will. It's instilled that only certain amount of people can have. In martial art, the, the respect is important. Respect for uh, your fellow students, respect for your teachers, respect for the people even below your rank. And they, they always why the person. Uh, there's respect for their instructor, there's respect for their junior, there's respect for their senior. There's respect for even the opponent that they fight. So in a Thai art, it is a must. You know, uh, Jun Chai instilled that in, into us, that we first have to have discipline. Without discipline, you can't learn. But for Jun Chai, he's uh, very strict, at least particularly when he first came to the United States. My name, they call me Chai. First name, Sura Chai. My uncle uh, said, you know, I want you to uh, teach the Muay Thai to Yankee. You know, I want the Yankee to learn the Muay Thai. I want to make sure you teach them how to do it. But the one thing I want to make sure you teach them this hand. He'll, he'll drop me for push-ups just like anybody else, which I did in the early days. <laughs> You're not disciplined. I'm gonna get you. Three minutes of hell because let's be honest, the last four rounds have been hell. Good elbow there from Kitchen though, very sneak, keeping the right hand up cleverly. Yeah, excellent technique by these two, two girls because. Here's the spinning back fist that she set Amanda up with, a very clever technique. Boom, she took that flush and did well to yep. come from and that. And she was kicking as well, which was on one leg. Yeah, here it comes again from a different angle. Whack, straight across the kisser, and she took that real well. Well, round five of this absolutely great contest between two very special ladies indeed. Julie Kitchen, known around the world for her mesmerising skills and great battles she's given us over the years. And Amanda Kelly from the KO Gym. And they're going into the last round. She doesn't stop coming forward. No. Doesn't give Julie space. Julia, Julia space. You know, with those kicks and punch combinations, it's wonderful to see, wonderful to watch. Not letting her in now, Kitchen. Starting to score with the kicks and punches, but Kelly comes forward with the clinch. Julie's starting to knee back now. Yep. 
And Julie needs him. He's got some big legs, long legs, she rather has. strong. Very impressed by this, this, this fight. I mean, you've seen everything you need to see. Any female followers watching as well? Two yeah. fighters to look up to. Yeah, we certainly are. And for us, here on Muay Thai America, still throwing shots. Kelly coming forward, scoring with knees, but Kitchen cleverly throwing elbows off the ropes. Knees of her own. Big shot there by Julie. She's got some power in those shots, isn't she? Yeah, she needs to keep her hands up, Amanda Kelly, because Julie's good with that right hand. Up, up. This has been a right battle, hasn't oh, it? An absolute battle. Absolutely. Determination from these two, these two warriors. Pure and utter pressure from Amanda Kelly. With Julie Kitchen fighting with good heart, scoring with her own things. Some weapons of Muay Thai. Yeah, the weapons of Muay Thai. She lands some good body kicks. There's a lovely sneaky right hand she lands inside. Good uppercut as well. Sneak right uppercut from Kitchen, showing her skills and her experience in there. Starting to knee back with the knee as well. The fitness and cardio of these two girls. Heart. Pure and utter heart that's keeping these girls going. It's lived up to its expectation, isn't it? Yeah. Because we all expected a war with fireworks from the off. It's been a war from, from, from day, from the start, sorry, from day dot. When this was announced, combinations going in. Back comes Kitchen. A furious exchange between these two coming up to the final. 20 seconds of this last round as Kelly bounces back. In she comes. Incredible. She needs to keep her hands up. Kitchen scoring with her own right hands. Good combinations going in the final seconds of this fifth round of a great contest oh. here in, in Hollywood. Absolutely. The Spruce Goose Hangar. What, what a, a fight. Great fight. What a great what fight that was. Oh. Oh, that's breathtaking fight. It's incredible. She shoots her arm aloft in the air, the Inverness. Braveheart, Amanda Kelly, Julie Kitchen. Visible swelling on the face, but what a performance by these two girls. That was an absolute war. These two are super fit, aren't they? Yeah, there was no, there was no tip for tag. From the off, let's go for it. Still beautiful as ever. Kitchen, even with them cuts and <laughs> bruises, she still still look better looking than me and you. It's not fair, is it? <laughs> no, to be honest, though, what a performance that was. Two great, great fighters. And there's the elbows coming in from both these ladies. Sneak right hand as Julie started to get stronger with the punches as it went on. Yeah, she landed some good shots as well in the hands in, the, in rounds four and five. A lovely uppercut as well. Yeah. But um, there's this right hand that was beautiful. Fun. A lovely reach from the lovely right hand there from Julie. A rapturous applause, a deser deser deservedly so, for these two great, great warriors indeed. Never mind being women, these two can really, really fight. Still smiling, as ever. You go over the fight, Vinny. Well, it's, it's been like this from round one, hasn't it? It was the it was a pressure of Kelly coming forwards with the knees, scoring with the elbows in close, causing a cut early doors, but Kitchen was fighting off the ropes as she had the pressure of Amanda Kelly all the time. Yes, she really did. I mean, the whole way forward. Just come forward, 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 apply pressure, work knees, a distance work kicks, get straight back into clinch. Julie started to land some heavier shots in round four and five, some good boxing skills. Look at the speed of these two. It's yeah. the technique. But it was the, the, the strength. She took it well, Kelly, didn't she? You know, came forward and really, really fought her heart out. So interesting to watch.
Well, there's the announcement, and we're going to wait for this with bated breath. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a round of applause for both of these warriors! <laughs> After five rounds of exciting Muay Thai action, we have a split decision. Judge Doc Nelson Hamilton scores the bout 48-47. Kitchen! Yeah. Split decision here, controversy. Yeah. Judge Vichai Rex Supercall scores the bout 49-46. Kelly and Judge Mark Zaccarato scores the bout 50 45 for your winner by split decision in the red corner Amanda Kelly she wanted it so much it was etched on her face from the beginning when this fight was announced the tears of emotion poured on the face from the brave heart the young girl from Scotland she wanted it so much Things have been said, things have been said in outside the ring, but inside the ring, all smiles and friends. Julie Kitchen, her mantle is still there. She's the queen of Muay Thai. What a great performance, but Amanda Kelly, you gotta give her credit. Oh, she absolutely. wanted that so badly, didn't she? She wanted it so bad. You could just tell, you know, crying there with joy. I mean, yeah. incredible. Incredible But you've got to give credit to these incredible, two incredible ladies, incredible athletes. What a performance by Kelly. And commiserations to Julie because I know how much she wanted it, but it was just Kelly's night tonight. Well, Look at the shots though. That, and Julie came back with some hard yeah. shots towards you. She seemed to get stronger, didn't she? Yeah, later she did. on. Threw some heavy punches and you know, all, all credit to, to, to uh, Amanda for taking those big shots. <laughs> oh, God. It's the uh, contest of pain. It's for the love of the sport. Any questions? Will they really be able to compete? Will they really be able to make it through this day? Well, it's going to be a tough one.